In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can find standard deviation and mean using a sharp ELW531 calculator. And in this video, we're going to look at a very simple example, which is how you find the standard deviation of the numbers simply 1, 2, 3. So the first step, and you must always remember this step, otherwise you'll get the wrong answer, and that is to make sure you clear the memory. So no previous numbers affect your current calculation. And to do that, you press second function, then alpha will take you to the M clear menu. Then you choose number one for memory and then press zero to confirm. That has now completely wiped the memories of the calculator so no previous data will affect the current calculation. So the next thing you want to do is to change it from normal mode and put it into the correct statistics mode. And to do that you press mode and you want to choose option one for stat. Because we are interested in calculating standard deviations you want to look at option 0 for SD, and we're now in the correct mode. The next step is we have to enter our data, which is simply the numbers 1, 2, and 3 for a simple example. So we'll simply press 1, and then we need to save this to the memory, and we press the Change button. That will also keep track of the number of data points. You've got data set equals 1. That's got one thing in the memory. Then you press 2, and then Change. That saves it in the memory again, then three, and then change, so you've now entered all your data. The next step is to use the alpha button, so we press alpha, and then on the keypad here with the numbers, you've got all your different statistics functions. So for example, if we wanted to find mean, we'd do four equals. If we wanted to find the sample standard deviation, we would do five equals. And if we wanted to find the population standard deviation, we'd do six equals. That is how you can get your standard deviations. If, however, you had a frequency table, there's a slightly different method. So, for example, if you had the numbers one, two, three, but you had frequency data, so you had one, one, two, twos, and three, threes, you're going to have to use a slightly different method. And I'll show you how you can enter data with a frequency table. So you're going to have to go back to the beginning and I'm going to reset the memories like we did previously. So that's cleared the memories. Now I'm going to show you how you can input data with a frequency column. Now to do this you need to use the comma and the comma will be found here. So simply you would do one comma one change that stores one one. Then we want two comma to change that stores that and then if we do three comma three change that stores that and then say we wanted to do you know the mean standard deviation we could just do four equals and then you could work out each of your standard deviations just using the same method as before so i hope this video was helpful to you and you can now calculate the mean and standard deviation with and without frequency tables on a sharp calculator. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.